Continue! I've loaded in the safe room. It's been a while since we played this game. Um, shh, don't tell them. <laughs> and my mother is trying to get the cat to realize that he's got food. <laughs> oh, how did I... Oh, how in the heck did I miss that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where? Okay, so I'm... I'm there. And there's a thing there. Oh, sheesh. Okay, and, um... And there's also a thing there. Okay, so that's... that's Probably either of this. I know where the last energy tank is. I need to. Well, this will be cut. Are you sure about that? Oh, I don't know. It's up to you. Do you want to bore our audience? Maybe I do. What's it to you? Googly googly boogly loo. Okay, well, let's go get the thing that I know that I missed that I should have gotten and get out of my way, you. <laughs> and die you and jumpy, 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 you lose I love you. how it was kind of suspenseful and kind of scary before, and now it's kind of scary for them. They're like, we have. Did stop! Basically, an unbeatable server of death. Here. We should all hide. <laughs> Server of death? Don't you mean deliverer of death? Out of my way, you. Oh. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're all dead. You're all dead. Oh, whoops. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Blow it up! Blow it up! Blow it all up and up! Out of my way! Ha ha ha! Nuked them! I did. <laughs> Who am I, Yoda? <laughs> Nuked them, I did. Yes. Dead you are, yes! <laughs> Blow up. Woo. I lose the ability to wall jump, but why do I freaking care? Woo! Yeah, why would you care? Because it looks cool. You know, you can actually still wall jump in Super Metroid once you get the space jump boots. Huh. But in Super Metroid, the space jump boots aren't quite literally infinite. If you fall too far, before activating the next jump, you lose the ability to jump on the air. Huh. It's also that way in, um, Fusion. But not in this game. In this game, it's like, oh, you could, you could, like, fall as far as you want, just as long as you jump again while you're still in the air, it counts. Huh. Is that all you can say? Huh. Interesting. Huh. Hey, I guess we've discovered the real villain here. Ancient Egypt! Dan, dan, dan. Oh, I know why I was mi- It wasn't- Okay, that wasn't me being an idiot. It was because I couldn't grab it yet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Because last time I was here, I couldn't do this, and I couldn't grab that, and- all right, now what? Oh, let's compare the maps! Okay, so there's a... Th okay, there's a, th there's a thingy over there. I already know about that, but I haven't gotten yet. Uh, where have I not been? Um, okay, the... Oh! Oh! Oh, how did I not see that? 
I'm an idiot! I'm a bona fide idiot of Um. Oh, screw you. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh? Oh, I have to go in from the other way. I... Aha. Uh uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh, I've been... That, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh. I thought that was something else. Never mind. Is it in the pirate ship? <laughs> the pirate ship. <laughs> the space pirate ship? Yes, it is. <laughs> right next to the monkey flipping map. Yep. Lava swimming! Makes no sense. Yeah. Lava is... It's not, it's not just super hot water, people. You can't... You, it, it, it doesn't work that way. And I'm not talking about the fact that she can survive the lava. I'm talking about the fact that it just... It... Like, what? It makes more sense if it were acid or... Really hot water or something. You can't swim through lava. Well, what if I'm completely heat proof? You still can't swim through lava. It. Yeah, you would just. You would stand on it. <laughs> You'd be the lava runner. <laughs> it's like, and it makes sense that, um,. You can't swim through lava because it's like it's super duper duper thick. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Who needs a jetpack? Thank God Nintendo is done using the Wii names. Yeah, it was a. I'm gonna be honest. It was always a dumb name. Yeah, it always was a dumb name. The Switch, I mean, while not exactly ingenious, definitely sounds better when you say it. And it gets the point across. It's like you switch between being able to play on a big screen and being able to play on the go. Boom. You can also switch between your play styles, like, you know, using the Joy-Cons as motion controllers. Now, I understand if people don't like motion controls, that's fine, that's your preference, but when you say stupid shit like, nobody wants it, you're basically forcing your opinion on other people and saying that they have to ascribe to this opinion. Stop doing that. It makes you look like an asshole. In which ca unless you are an asshole, in which case stop being an asshole, you asshole. They bet, oh. Nintendo and other companies better make really impressive use of that HD rumble. Otherwise, it is going to be feel like a cheap way to. It's gonna. It's just gonna feel like it was unnecessarily there, and these controllers were made super super expensive for no reason. Oh, you know, but HD rumble would be awesome for um, VR games. Yeah. It would be much better than what Sony has. Which is pretty much just the move controllers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could, using HD Rumble, you could, like, really, in a virtual game, reality game, you could feel like you're holding stuff. Hey, actually, this is kind of funny, because in a Yoshi episode, I was talking about the the virtual boy and how they this and how a study found that it was good for your eyes yeah and that a lot of the eye strain complaints came from people basically just not adjusting the the adjustableness of it yeah. 
Most people didn't even know it had that function. Huh. Yeah, like me. Oh no, Mike, you tripped the security. Security? There's security here? <laughs> oh, you mean that guy? <laughs> Who's dead? So, yeah, I... Just open that door. And also, the fact that the Joy-Cons have motion controls in the first place makes sense for freaking, uh, you know, virtual reality. Yeah. That's generally what you have. But, um, it would almost like, a, it would almost be like a comeback of the Virtual Boy, which, did you know the Virtual Boy was supposed to have head tracking and be goggles? Wow. But its design was using something that emitted some kind of like radiation or whatever, and the effect of that radiation on people has not, had not been documented. So they put metal plates in the Virtual Boy to protect you from the radiation, and it caused it to be too heavy to be worn as a headset. Yeah. Oh, and by the way... Nintendo did not fire Yokoi over the, virtu the Virtual Boy. In fact, he wasn't even blamed. Huh. That was uh, sensational sensationalism bleh, from the newspapers, who drew a connection between him leaving and the Virtual Boy's failure from the Japanese media. So he wasn't fired? No, he wanted to leave before the Virtual Boy was even made. He was considering already leaving the company. And in Japanese business, this is very, very unprecedented. Usually, in the Japanese business model, you're expected to stay with a company for life. Yeah. You are not expected to get fired unless you fuck up bad. <laughs> And, yeah, the Virtual Boy was Nintendo's biggest, biggest flop. Say what you will about the Wii U. It doesn't even come fucking close. It doesn't even come close. And, my gosh, compared to the vir compared to the Virtual Boy, the Wii U's library looks like the PlayStation 2 library. Normally I would say don't insult the PlayStation 2's library, but, yeah. <laughs> that is a very... Very accurate statement. Later, loser. <laughs> I like how he followed you. Like, wait, 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 what? One, two, three. One. Ow. Two. Ow. Three. Ha <laughs> ha! You're dead now, punk. We you... saw how you just destroyed those guys, so we thought we'd try, too. Really? Um... Your funeral, bubs. You, you guys have noticed you're red, right? So? So have you ever watched Star Trek? Yes, we watched The Next Generation. Reds are captains! In Next Generation and onwards, red is always captain. Or high rank. Huh. I am a Trekkie, I know these things. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear warning! Those things look so funny. And so ripped off from Star Wars. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I just said I'm a Trekkie. I, I, I don't know anything about Star Wars. Oh, wait. You can be both. You you can like both. Actually, come, I, I, I agree with Spoonie. Is like, there's more... Oh... There's more rivalry within their res own respective fandoms than against each other. Yeah. I don't know where this Trekkie versus Star Warsian. They're really different. Thing can't. I mean, they both contain space travel, and yeah, space battles. Space space battles. different races but um 
I, know, I don't think there's as much similar. I don't think they're that similar as people might think. But maybe it is the differences that cause the fandoms to war against each other. So we are fi- 15 minutes. Okay, how much do we have left of this game? Not much, but enough to make another episode out of. Okay. Well, so subscription uh, button in the upper left. By the sleep. Uh, and and the, the playlist button by the status. And by the A is another thingy. My playlist, whatever I'm playing at the time. Probably Yoshi, maybe. I don't know, baby. Maybe Yoshi at the time. Yoshi. Yoshi, maybe, probably, baby. Yoshi, bye. And then and there's another playlist by the thing. Bye. The, the timer.